Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing slash doing a little tutorial on uh, how to use Leonardo.ai. Leonardo.ai is one of the top AI softwares for image generations out there with Midjourney and the others. Um, so here are some of the images and the quality is insanely good. As you can see in this example um, here as well and here as well. And not just those examples, oh, they have so many examples. The Spider-Man image is so good. But uh, we're going to be looking at the, its features, the pricing and everything. And at the end of the day, it's up to you to make the decision whether you want to be part of it or not. Okay. So as a user, you have two main things that you can do. Okay. We have image generation, which looks like this. And the I would say what makes it so special or a little better than mid journey is the amount of features it has. You can do way more um, with this than what you can do with mid journey, for example. Okay, so not saying that, for example, with mid journey, you have the aspect ratio, but you don't really have to pick the number of images. Uh, I mean, yes, you can create as many as you like, but still not the same. And when I have different models, um, they you can create. It has prompt generation. You can, for example, you don't have a idea for what you're looking for. Maybe a warrior from the 1400s they might give you more ideas and stuff uh, we're gonna go more in depth into this as we go in this video so here so you get to create even image to image or prompt to image so it's just the amount of features what's the most impressive thing about it okay and you still have to wait or if you follow the video i have made on how to get instant access so you can get into it fairly quickly especially now there are so many uh image softwares out there and adobe is coming out with a new one as well there's an insane amount of competition on this so for us as customers it is good so the quality and everything is going to be really up there and you have to be very competitive in order to stay up there anyways we'll get back to this in a second we have ai canva beta so here it's like a basically this one is like a photoshop but with ai so basically you get to edit an image however you want okay uh, you just basically select what you want of part of the image and you get to pick which model you like as well and basically you type oh for example uh snake eyes or cat eyes add ears remove background whatever you wanna you want and basically it does it for you it's like photoshop but it's much simpler with ai here this is another thing that i liked the most about it is that you can create your own data sets to basically train the AI to create images based on the images yet that you did upload to it. Okay. And there are many models out there as well. So there are the platform models. So if you like, for example, pixel art uh, style, you can go ahead and do it. And there are several examples to basically show you what you can create with this model or there are other ones as well battle axes and the same thing as well for example if you're working on a, a video game or something like that and you want access to use in your game that looks high quality something like this you can use this model and there are other mo uh, models as well community models and you have here your models the models that you will find here are the models that basically you'd basically you created your own by training ai by uploading your own images okay and here you will find community models so here this is more of a sketch style and this is anime style this anime style are so many styles out there and basically you just pick whichever you're looking for the those are made by the community while the other ones are made by the platform and the you they are you can create your own as well and there's a community feed just like mid journey you can see images that people made and stuff and uh we'll get into the details of basically like do you get to keep your images private and all that stuff in a second which you can actually if you have just a basic subscription plan 
unlike mid journey you have to have the pro plan to get the privacy feature which, which keeps your images private now that we know what you basically can what can clean out of that ai create now we can go ahead and play around with it and see what we can create okay so we can go here to ai image generation and we can pick the model that we like so you get to use the free plan yeah the free plan provides you with 250 tokens uh, which is very limited okay but if you want to create more you can use the plan you can ha you have the monthly and yearly whatever you like so i think with this you will pay 120 dollars uh, but if you want to just pay monthly or pay $12 instead uh, the pricing is very similar to mid journey as well it's very similar but from the jump you have private generations and priority infrastructure while here you have relaxed generation and here you get to generate even more dependent jobs up to 20 with the i guess this is the pro plan maestro i guess but anyway so yeah but with the free plan your generations are not private so anyone can see them uh i don't know where the parts they and here are even more details about their plans and stuff and there are other many features that are coming soon as well I have 3d texturing coming soon there are many other things that are coming soon as well. brand new software is very new to the market and it's pretty hot as well uh to be i'm just curious about where they talk about the commercial use and stuff because the images i create i want to use them for commercial use i don't want to make them just to have a have it on my laptop but anyways so i'll just get back here let me see so here i get to pick how many images i want to create up to eight for some reason i could not create more than i can create more than four which is fine for me um we just have this prompt right here galaxy environment capture and welcome i just got it from the explore page uh you have negative prompts and prompt magic and you can pick this style as well you can keep it none or leonardo style so i'll do the leonardo style we go with leonardo creative and you have stable diffusion as well but oh wanna see what leonardo has to offer here so we'll just create on generate and then we will wait okay so this is what's been made uh we have multiple options that we can do this to remove the background this is to unzoom and each button will cut cost us token and this to improve image during the upscale process this will cost five so basically this is to upscale let's try this one to be honest the quality of this is very <laughs> not good okay this is a, a noticeable uh, difference in the quality here let's see if we can remove the background as well and how good is it i don't know i clicked to remove the background but nothing happened I don't we can download the image as well if we want to take a closer look we'll just open the image in uh and it's not bad looking the fingers and stuff it's not a bad image especially after the the upscale but it didn't remove the background anyways so yeah there are other ones as well we can so this is basically from image to image so this is basically we use an image to create another image now with the we want to do image prompt we can do titling as well if we want to create a pattern so uh, let's see let's type something okay let's send so i don't really have an idea of i what i want to create let's use this feature here to create uh, to generate prompts that we can use the zombie green zombie and let's see what they're gonna say uh, a green zombie with tattered clothes standing in the dark alleyway and by street light okay so let's try this we can just click generate and we can edit as well but let's just go with generate so this is the image that's been generated uh, it's not bad looking like we can improve if we click on the creative upscale let's try to remove the background of this one and see what happens okay so it works in this example so the background has been successfully removed and we can download the image as well save it so what i'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take this image to pixeler and see if it's actually transparent. So it is actually transparent image and we can move it around and stuff. It is actually transparent and if we zoom in, it is pretty uh, good. They did cut the background fairly good without any. So what we'll do, let's see if we can what well, doesn't look like we can i want to upscale the image but this it seems like there are so many limitations if you want to do multiple things at the same time let's do let's see, original and then we can improve or well, creative upscale the creative upscale is uh, it's not just they upscale the size of the image but they upscale the quality of the image they bring more detail and stuff so this is what it looks like after the upscale. This is without the background. This is the original image. This is the upscaled image. Um, in terms of the some details, they look better. Some they don't look that great. So uh, let's just try to download it. I'm just curious how big is it. Copy. I'm gonna paste it to Pixlr and see how big is it. So this is the actual size of the image. It's pretty big, especially compare comparing them to Mid Journey images. It, it's pretty reasonable size and you can see and the quality is not bad either pretty good for our example okay let's go back here i have an image that i really like so i really like this one i wanna try it to do image to image i mean what you got to do is you have to you have to just play around with it and you'll get uh, that's the best way to learn how to use it just like any other software basically but let's just type spy i'm just gonna do two to not spend as much tokens okay so those are the two images that were generated to me it seems like you have to kind of upscale the image always to get that high quality this is the other one super similar but it seems like if you want to get consistent characters or consistently looking uh for some reason this M the the new spider man they look more buff than the other spider man but yeah uh, now we can get to select a custom model so we can go here and uh, basically we haven't made any models of i haven't made any model did not train the data set but yeah we have the platform models and community models as well so here if you want to create crystals or pixel art or whatever there are so many uh ones out there there are two specific that's the thing like if you look into create crystals or pixel art or, there's so many things out there uh there are so many ones here i think i'm just gonna get back to the other one i'm gonna create an axe for example this this is, looks pretty good but the thing is is when you like pick this one for example this model the training resolution is going to be this so yeah so let's just create on generate with this model and then let's type in but uh, well you know what i'm just going i'm going to use the prompt generation as well model axis prompt generation here here let's see what we can get and the uh, let's try this one and see what they're gonna create so basically you can create pick any model just from here and basically create whatever you like and it's more specific okay so i did mm -hmm. interesting well, well you know what i'm gonna do now i'm just going to do a battle axe that's something as as basic as that and see what happens so this is the image that's been made and we just typed in battle axes um but they didn't really give us anything i mean anything is going to be like hit or miss sometimes but uh yeah so this is basically the image thing uh we can pick the ratio the size dimension the image dimension kind of scale titling so uh, this is the thing that i haven't tried yet i'm going to try it right now but i'm going to do it with another model i have a model in mind which is crystals there is this one there is one. so i'm going to go with this one generate with this model i'm going to enable prompt magic and do none and just type in so basically this is the image that's been generated to see if we can create a perfect pattern here and this is what's been what we were being able to get the prompt was crystals pattern black background neo colors and this is what it looks like i i use this creative upscale the quality looks way better i took it to pixeler and i duplicated the image four times and it looks perfect almost perfect to me so yeah there's a slight it's a little messed up in here but it looks a lot very good still in terms of the 
vertical anyway so it looks very good uh, it's not perfect but it looks pretty good actually it's um, is a little maybe if we do this it's a little not perfect but it still looks pretty good in my opinion so that was our little test for the pattern thing and now well let's go to here the canva so we can find this i spent so many tokens i am only left with 145 now i'll go to the ai canvas beta and here it is so i'm gonna do i'm just going to use the spider-man image here it's pretty large so i'm going to make it smaller make sure it is within the i don't want to ruin the image so what i'm gonna do zoom in i'll use this draw a mask and this let's try this here let's type in blue eyes okay uh let's do something more let's make this the brush a little bigger let's play with the background here uh, actually there are more than just one okay this is my favorite but anyway so let's do accept and then let's do draw a mask here i mean as the the moment you'll start using it the second you realize it's pretty easy to get familiar with to be fair like mid journey took me a while longer to understand since i did not really understand how to use discord that's the thing so this right here so we want to do something interesting with the background so here let's do lava and let's do generate you can pick which one we like the most it's interesting we typed in lava and they did add ice well at least looks like ice in the ocean there i don't know what that is really but oh, okay let's just go with this one i don't know what really that is let's try again let's do something else um do okay, okay that one like that okay. so it seems like it's not it doesn't look that great which is fine so i don't know just keep it like that okay let's do another experiment Pyramid. let's go here and do superman logo so this is what what it looks like we had we added this uh, superman logo it doesn't look perfect um we added a, another thing with that we've changed which is the six app thing uh, once you're done you can go ahead and download it from this button right here and they have kind of you know each time you make a some change they kind of add a new layer on top of it this is the original one well, this is not the this is the original one like it looks like it clicks on something uh, but anyways this is the one on top of it this is the second layer not this this is the second layer and so on and so forth and this is the six pack part of it but uh anyway it's still and uh, so you gotta keep in mind this is not the full version i like there's still gonna be improvements there's so many features that are coming soon as we looked at the pricing of it and um yeah so this is pretty much most of what leonardo the uh, leonardo that ai has to offer it's pretty nice software i do like it a lot i'm currently using uh, the paid membership of mid journey just the thing is i'm used to it and i'm happy with the quality i'm happy with everything that you have uh, at this point of time um don't know if i'm going to switch to lee and out of that ai maybe one day in the future who knows um but yeah with the pricing they have i think it's i think it's okay nothing bad nothing it's not 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 bad but uh yeah so so thank you very much for watching i hope you found this video valuable if you did please make sure to subscribe to the channel we have a lot more videos coming out that will talk about kdp why they make money online um and ai related stuff as well so again thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video